Hey everybody, Patton here. Welcome back to the channel. So developer Ethan R12 has released version 2 of his save state shortcuts mod. Now what this does is creates a folder on the main menu of your classic system for any games that you have a save for so you don't have to go searching through folder after folder after folder trying to go to a game that you may have saved or you had played a few days ago or a few weeks ago. It'll all be in this one folder easy for you to find. Very handy for those people who play multiple games at a time instead of finishing them right away. There's actually a few different versions of this mod and I'll go over each one briefly to explain how it works. So to get this running, first thing you have to do is mod your system. To do that, I'll put the video of how to mod your system in my description. So after you have your system modded, you go to your modules tab in HackGCE, then to the HackGCE mod store. You're going to go to the additional functionality tab. It'll be at the top here. It's going to be releasing very shortly. You can find it here. So we're going to add these the manual way. You can see here we have four H mods in his file. You have these saves all, saves cartridge, saves retrowork, and saves suspend. Depending on how you like to save your games, you're going to pick one of these. The suspend mod is for those games that you use the classic suspend states. The retroarc mod is for when you create save states within retroarc. Cartridge mod is for when you create your saves within a game. No save states, just saving in the game itself. And then the all mod will take saves from all these categories and put them in the folder. And I'll get to this art folder in a second. So for now, I'm going to manually add these. I'm going to highlight all four H mods drag them into Hackchi and they'll be added to my module list. You can see here I've already installed the all module. To install any of these all you have to do is check the box next to the module, hit OK, a bar will appear, it'll fill up and once it's filled up all the way it means this mod is installed and it's ready to go. So reading the description of the mod here it tells you what saves are meant. Since we're using all you have suspend points in-game saves and retroarc saves. So this customize option, he wants to let you know that you can change the icon on your folder related to this mod. It's actually very simple to do. If you right click the mod over here on the list and go show mod in Explorer, it'll bring up your user mods folder right here. You just go into your mod, user, USR, share, save state shortcuts, all, and these are the two icons you're gonna replace. We go back to his folder we're going to use this saves art folder and then you can pick what color icon you want we'll go with black so i'm just going to take these two images copy them and then paste them into this folder it'll ask me if i want to replace the files i do so now this is what our save folder will look like so i've cleared out all my saves on my nes classic if we go to tools and the save state manager we have no saves for any games. So let's go to the system and see how this works. All right, so we're on the NES Classic, but you don't see a saves folder because I don't have any saves yet. We're gonna start up Castlevania 3, and I'll show you how this works. All right, so you're going through Castlevania 3. There's no way to save this game, really. There's, there's no in-game saves like that. Um, I just powered up my whip. I don't wanna lose my progress. I got other things to do. It's very important I keep this whip. So I'm gonna go to the RetroArc menu. I'm going to go to save state in the bottom corner. You see where it says save state. Now I'm going to exit out of here. Now after you restart your device, you see here we have an all saves. If we go into this folder here, we should see, there it is, Castlevania 3. We're going to back out one more time to the main menu. We're going to start up some Vector Man. That also doesn't have any in-game saves, I believe. All right, so we're Vector Man. We're going to blow up some TVs, greats doing awesome you know what I have a high score of 210 points I want to save it we're gonna quick reset back to the menu and I'm gonna do a suspend point save now if I go back to the saves folder again let's see what's in it vector man is suddenly there there it is right there so let's do a game that saves within the game chrono trigger don't forget to talk to your mom and get your allowance it's important 200 G's it's a lot so we're getting out of here excuse me mom to the map so we can save our game back to the nes classic menu and to the saves folder and what do we have chrono triggers there so that warning that ethan gave you in the readme on his mod saying that a lot of games use sram saves and will take up a lot of space 
this is what he means by that. We're going to start Mega Man Legends real quick, and we're not going to save. So, Mega Man Legends, PS1. I'm going through the game. I decide I can't play this game. I don't like this girl's voice. It's really annoying. So, I have no interest in this game now. I didn't save. I'm just going back to the menu. We go back to the saves folder. And here's Mega Man Legends. And that is no fault of his mod. That is something that RetroArch does on its own. It creates this file, the save file, on its own, even if you don't save the game. So this is what he was talking about. You have to be careful of these games that create the file out of nowhere, even if you don't manually save the game. And a lot of games do this. You'll see a lot of games in here. So just like your regular menu, you can only have so many files in this folder. So you have to manage your saves using the save state manager back on HackG. And that's why he has so many variations of the mod. So you can use one and you won't get the SRAM saves for certain games. So one more feature real quick before I show you guys how to manage your saves. This requires you to have the RetroArch launcher. If you go into the launcher, you'll see here in the menu, it looks generic. You can add a saves playlist using this mod. So you're not limited like you are on the you know, the system's menu, you can have as many games on this playlist at once. The method in which you access your games may be a little different from what I show you here. But what you need to do is load content from the launcher. Then you're going to navigate to wherever you keep your games. For me, since I'm using an SD mod, it's going to be in Media, HackG, Games, NES USA, and then this first folder here, and here's my list of games. So here we go, Castlevania, Circle of the Moon. We're going to start this up through the RetroArch launcher. Now we're going to hit start and select to go back into the RetroArch menu and we're going to save state. In the bottom corner it says our state was saved correctly. We're going to go back to the menu again, exit out of RetroArch. You have to exit out. Once you go back into the launcher, we should have a new playlist over here and there's our Castlevania Circle of the Moon. Like I said, you have unlimited space using this playlist, but you have to have the launcher and you have to have some kind of external storage, either a USB flash drive or internal SD mod for this to work. So using this way, you can have as many saves as you want. But like I was saying, to manage those extra saves, you go to your tools tab in HackGCE, go to the save state manager, and you have a list of all the games that you have saves for. Here is Mega Man Legends. All you have to do is delete selected. It'll ask if you really want to do it and that save is gone. So huge thank you to Ethan R12 for this very useful mod. By the time this video is out, it should be in the mod store, if not shortly thereafter. I'll also have a download link in my description to his GitHub account where you can download it. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next time. So huge thanks to Ethan R12, 12R, R12.